welcome to another video where today I will be showing you how to make a pretty cool Animal Jam intro without having to pay for anything. So you want to go to a barn den, like AJHQ's den, which is where I am. Do an action, like dance or something. I already have stuff opened. Grab your recording software. I'm picking up Bandcam because why not? So it's going to... Gotta let your recording software load in. So yeah, basically the rules are you must be in a green area, which is like a green screen. Then you want to just fit it to your animal. Do, 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 do. So now it's just the whole background for your animal is green. Oh my gosh, don't get near me! Ah! Record? So you can... No! So you can record it for however long you want. Do, 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 do. Wait, 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 wait. No, quit getting in my frame. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm, I don't even know. Okay, here we go. So then you can go ahead and buy, buy wow, and get a Camtasia Studio free trial. 30 days. I have the free trial. And then you want to grab some music. And you can also get a background, but let me X out of this. So, the music you can find on YouTube, or anything, yeah, actually YouTube, and you don't want it to be copyrighted, so either do like a karaoke version or something, so you can do like, a remix, so there's a Tom size remix of it, and there's also a karaoke version somewhere over the rainbow, and what just happened to my recording software, oh my gosh, there we go. So, yeah. And then you can go to www. I'm pretty sure it's U. It's like YouTube to MP3. And then you need to find this. It's actually www.youtube-mp3.org. Then you can paste the link to your video, copy it first, and then paste it. I don't even know what's on my paste anymore. I mean, apparently nothing is on my paste. And then you click convert video. It says invalid URL, but you, it will say, and you can, it will say that it's fine usually. Then you can click download. And then you've got your music and your animal dancing. So next you want to pull up your Camtasia Studio. Time to get into the exciting stuff. Import the media. So you can import your recording of your animal. Woo! Wait, what? And then it'll appear up here. Then for a background, you can click on callouts and grab a simple rectangle, or really anything, usually a simple rectangle. Then you can go to fill and select the color that you want. Let's say that I want a very light yellow. Okay, put this, fit it to the black, then it'll be like that. <laughs> So now you've just got basically just a yellow background. Now, next you want to put your animal here. Now you see there's, um, number one there's the logo of Bandicam. So I can cut that out if I want to using this little crop mode. Make sure you untoggle it once you're done. You can also, let's stretch it. So you want to click more, go into visual properties. Click remove a color. Well, I'm on the wrong thing. So, click remove a color. And it, if it doesn't go automatically, just click select color. And then that color will be removed. Then you can mess with this. See, it makes green appear sometimes. Just mess with it. Make it however you want. I like it like this. And then you can play. And you've got an awesome green screen of your Animal Jam Animal Dancing. But where did the music go, you ask? The music, you can add using the same thing. Import media. Then you can go into, yeah, um, downloads. Let's find a song. Any song. Okay. I have no idea where all my music went. Okay. So this is a remix right here. This is the song I use for my intro. But now it's too long. So, if I turn up the sound, um... You guys can't hear it, but I can, so. <laughs> so you can pick. 
So, like, click on it and go to the spot where you want it to start. Click split. Click on the other half. Delete it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Temptation's being weird. Put it up here. Then. You can. Now you can cut it again. And delete. And then you've got some pretty cool. So, you can also add a different thing of your wolf by using left, right click copy, and then right click paste. And then there will be two wolves dancing. And you can also flip it by making it go smaller until it flips over. So I'm just adjusting it. And then now you've got two wolves dancing. So, you can also do zooming. So, if you do the zoom. So, let's say, what did I just do? Oh, my God. You can also undo things, just in case something flips upside down. Oh, my gosh, quit flipping upside down. Well, I wonder why it's doing that, but I guess it looks cool. So, if you add the zoom and pan, make it go like that. Like that. And like that. You can stretch them out and... And it went a bit insane. <laughs> so I'm going to undo all that zooming and all that panning. Because I do not exactly want that there. You can also move them around to make them exactly symmetrical. Now to text. The text should be in callouts. So. Add callout. It should. Oh no. Should add it all the way up here. Right now it's a rectangle. You can go all the way down until you see T. That's for text. You can make it as big as you want. Let's make it 150. And get, type your... Well, you can also pick um, what font you want. So I guess I'll go with... Do, 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 do this font. And then you can always type what size you want. And then you can change the color. Whatever you think is best. And you might have to spread it out here. And then now you've got the text added to your masterpiece. <laughs> but isn't it still a bit bland? Yes, it is. <laughs> so, the text, you can add visual properties to it. And you can click add animation. And you can make it, like, spin all the way around. And you can set what it ends up like. So it's going to end up in the right place. Right there. You can stretch it out and it should spin. There we go. So I made the text spinny and the wolves dancing. And you can add like as many effects as you want. I sort of want to... Okay. And you can also... Add to the background, if you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and move everything up so there's space. So now I've got a free track too. You can add like, let's say you want to add an arrow. So you can click on that and it should add itself. And now you need to move it down. See, sometimes mine randomly do fade out and I do not want it to fade out. You can move it to there. You can colorize it however you want. I do not want to colorize the quote-unquote text. So you can colorize it pretty similar, sim sim similar, wow, similar to your background or whatever you want. So, and then you can add visual properties. You can click add animation and you can stretch it out. Stretch. And that looks pretty cool. So, let me stretch this out. It might be glitching out a bit. So you can add as many crazy effects and as many scenes as you want. And then all you have to do is minimize this. <laughs> of course I was logged out. Grab uh, your screen recorder. Well, this isn't even my screen recorder anymore. It's just on my desktop. Yes. <laughs> Wait for it to load again. Why did I exit out of it? Click. Then you can, if your screen recorder is like mine, you can adjust it. 
to fit. And then, um, well, usually the, um, the, 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 um, it will put a giant Camtasia logo, or I don't know, just some sort of watermark with the free trial, so you can get out of this by re-recording it. So you want to go ahead and, oh yeah, I forgot that you could, um, do something really cool with the audio. Ah. Click on your audio. Click the fade out button. You can make it fade out however slow or fast that you want it to. So, there we go. Now we can get out of here. And now, pretty sure the audio will fade out. Yep. Okay, I made the audio fade out and stuff. So now it's time to refilm it. See, with, um, screencast o -Matic, it does a countdown. So, if you don't, if you have the countdown, it will go 3, 2, 1, go. Then you can just click when it says go. And with Bandicam, it does not do a countdown, but it has a record and stop hotkey. So you want to click and press that hotkey at the same time. And then you can just stop as it end, as it ends. Can go back into your files. I can't really access my files right now. Go into your documents or wherever it gets put. And then, the, I'll show you the final project. Pro project, wow. So, it will end up pretty gushy looking and stuff. So, you can put it into whatever you, editor you want and add it to your video. So, it, the intros I think you can make with Camtasia Studio are pretty unlimited and awesome. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed, and bye!